If you're anything like me and Gabby when we first started out, you might only have a vague idea of how 3D printing works. Well, I'm going to demystify that process here. See, the most familiar type of 3D printing you've probably come across looks something like this. A movable, articulating, or clickable trinket. They usually have a distinct look that gives away that they're 3D printed. And that distinct look comes from layers of melted plastic a filament printer laid down on a plate one by one until the entire model was complete. Now, a 3D model in digital software may look really smooth, but a printer's physical ability to match that smoothness is limited. If you want to closely match the detail you see on a screen in real life, you'll need a resin 3D printer. Here's how and why. Where filament printers liquefy solid plastic and build upward layer by layer, resin printers solidify liquids layer by layer until a model is hanging upside down. The science and mechanics behind why is pretty astounding, but I'll keep it simple. Basically, a flat plate is lowered into a tub of liquid resin and pushes most of that liquid away, except for a thin layer between the plate itself and the bottom of the tub. Now the bottom of the tub is clear, and that allows light to pass through. When UV light shines through, it hardens or cures that thin layer, and that cured layer will stick to the plate like glue. The plate then pulls up to create another thin layer of liquid and the process repeats. The microscopically thin layers are why resin printers deliver much more detail than filament printers. Of course, this is a simplified explanation, but it's what helped me and Gabby decide how we were going to start out making models. And it's how we've been making them ever since. There's a lot more that goes into the process, especially regarding health and safety. But I wanted to share these basics of 3D printing because a lot of you are very surprised to hear that we 3D print our figures. Anyway, I hope all of that helped to clear things up. And if you want to see the detail for yourself, head over to hairbrain.com.